Welcome to Intro to Mechatronics Part 4. In this video, we'll be going over cascading timers. I will be teaching it in Allen Bradley format, but some of the principles can be carried over to Siemens. So let's first go over the anatomy of a timer on delay, or TON for short. The timer on delay is a timer that starts timing once it receives a true or on signal. When it receives a false or off signal, the timer resets. It consists of a timer name field that can be referenced, the duration of the timer, which will be in milliseconds, and the accumulated time, or how long the timer has been timing. Once this value reaches the duration value, the time reports a false or off state. To the left, I have a program ladder diagram that has cascading timers on it, or timers that go off one after the other. The way I set this up is I put a normally closed connection at the beginning, which will start the program off and the timer one will run for one second or 1000 milliseconds. To start the next timer, we'll be using a timer one dot done, which is true or on when the timer is done. After timer one is done, this will activate the second rung, normally open contact, connecting it and starting the timer two up until it goes to the accumulated value of two seconds. Next, timer two will finish, which will activate the timer two dot done normally open contact. This will start timer three, and timer three will run for three seconds. After timer three is done, it will activate the timer three dot done normally close contact, which will briefly open the circuit when activated and reset time one. It will then cascade all of the timers and reset them to zero, then become normally closed again and start the timer one. Then the process repeats. Below the cascading timers, I have three normally open contacts with three different timers. I used a .tt after the timer's name, which means that it is true or on when the timer is timing. The timer one timing rung will run for one second. The timer two timing rung will run for two seconds. And finally, the timer three timing will run for three seconds or whatever the presets you have for each timer. So to reiterate, during the time the timer is on, it will keep the timer timing normally open contact true, which will turn on the output coils, which could be a light or motor or other electrical device. This program will continually cycle through until the program is shut off. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.